Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather and see what lies ahead. But first, look at this. It's been so clear and warm in Colorado now. We need snow. And that's the live view from Arapaho Basin. Lots of grass showing there on that southern aspect. Uh, but we're not the only place that needs snow. Utah needs it. A lot of other places need it to start up, op keep operating, opening more runs. And there is some in my forecast. Let me just show you what my bullet points are here. So big California trough still directing everything in the atmosphere across the west. So as California goes, the rest of the west goes right now. It's very slow. It will eject two different packets of energy. And both will absorb two fronts. Um, so we're going to get snow in two phases. Um, in Utah, 1116, and then the second, 1118, 1119. In Colorado, 1116, first shot, second shot, 11, eight, late on the 18th, 19th, early into the 20th. So that's how the timing plays out with this. Let me take you back and show you what this looks like right now on uh, water vapor satellite imagery, and it's very obvious. Big king low right here, controlling everything across the west. Everything's rotating around this sucker. Here, take a look at this. So your dry air is your reds and oranges aloft. The moisture is right here in the whites and the blues, and you can see it's sending waves of moisture up. So at times, that moisture will meet up with this energy coming up over the top. And that's how we're going to generate snow here across the Intermountain West, all the way through the 20th. There's a third storm as well, around the 23rd or 24th, and I'll show you what that looks like coming up. Forecast radar satellite. So here we are tomorrow morning at six. First ejection comes out of, of California, meets up with a front coming down from the north. You can see the effects. We're gonna have snow in the Tetons the Wasatch, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. There's tomorrow afternoon, still snowing in the mountains, and then it all moves away. Now we're waiting. Now watch California. It's going to send the energy down towards the southern tier. Here comes the low, and there it is. It's going to combine with, a, with energy coming out of the Pacific Northwest, and two will combine for snow, more widespread snow. Watch it happen. Here we are Sunday morning at 6, snowing in Montana, Idaho, snowing also in the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in all the mountain zones of Colorado. Again, that's Sunday morning at 6. Sunday afternoon, still snowing, and then here comes the energy dropping down in the southeast. Colorado could get a low spinning up over the eastern plains. We'll see. Nothing set in stone, and then all of that would move away, and that third storm would come through around 1123, 1124. Let's talk jet stream here, and here it is, very amplified. I showed you this the last couple of days for 1119. So you're going to have all that energy just dropping down through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado, 1119, to fill that low down in southeast Colorado, northern New Mexico. Um, second phase, second period is 1123. You can see the dip in the jet, shortwave trough coming through. Um, 1122, 1123, 1124 from the Pacific Northwest through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and through Colorado, possibly brushing the Wasatch. Totals, first period through the 20th, 4 to 12 inches in Colorado. Um, that's great to see, but that's the combination of two storms. So the 16th and then the 18, 19, 20 in the Wasatch. I went 15 at Alta and Snowbird. I think that's a distinct possibility. Um, that's a combination of the 16th snow and then 1819. Um, four to eight across uh, the Tetons. Those are the biggest pockets of snow through the 20th. Period two, this is the third storm system, 21 through 24. Another four to eight for the Tetons. This could be a nice little period. Uh, and then probably two to five or two to six for the northern mountains of Colorado. Uh, this system's more like a clipper. Um, and two or three up there through parts of um, northwest Montana, maybe four in Big Sky. And that's going to do it through the 24th. Um, that'll take us through uh, Thanksgiving. Um, tomorrow, we'll look at Thanksgiving the day after and possibly that weekend to follow. So stay tuned for that, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.